digestive system highlighted parts salivary glands mouth saliva food pipe esophagus stomach small intestine liver pancreas large intestine rectum anus we get nutrition from the food we eat balanced nutritive food keeps us healthy it gives us energy to work grow and repair body parts however the food that we eat must be absorbed by our body to carry out several activities the different organs of the digestive system must function together to break down complex substances to simpler substances this process of breaking complex food substances to simpler form is called digestion the organs of digestive system are mouth tongue food pipe stomach liver pancreas small intestine large intestine rectum and anus the whole digestive system is divided into five steps first ingestion second digestion third absorption fourth assimilation fifth ejection first ingestion the process of digestion begins in the mouth food is ingested through the mouth the food is tasted by our tongue and chewed with the help of teeth our teeth chew the food and break it by cutting tearing and grinding the food the chewed food is broken down into small pieces it is mixed with the saliva secreted by salivary glands tongue is a muscular organ that helps to mix the food with saliva taste buds are present on the tongue to detect all taste like sweet salt sour and bitter second digestion saliva contains mucus and a digestive liquid it mixes with the food and makes it moist soft and easy to swallow the soft moist food is called bolus saliva mixes with food substances and changes the insoluble complex starch present in them into simple soluble sugar the process by which food is made soft with digestive juice is called mastication the food is then swallowed from our mouth and passed down through a tube called food pipe or esophagus the esophagus is made up of muscles which pushes food towards the stomach in a wave like movement known as peristalsis stomach is a hollow muscular bag shaped like the letter j the stomach can hold about 2 liters of food depending on the type of food eaten the process of digestion can take few minutes to few hours the inner wall of the stomach along with mucus also secretes hydrochloric acid and digestive juice 
the mucus secretion protects the stomach wall from reaction of acid on it the acid kills bacteria present in the food the digestive juices break down proteins into simple substances the digestive juices are mixed with the food by constant squeezing of stomach muscles the food gets partly digested in the stomach the partially digested food enters the small intestine the small intestine is nearly 6 meters in length its inner walls secrete some juices which help in further digestion Liver is the largest gland of the body. It secretes bile juice which is stored in a small bag called gall bladder. The bile juice helps in digestion. It enters the small intestine through a small tube from the gall bladder. Pancreas secretes pancreatic juice that contains digestive juice to convert starch proteins and fat into smaller molecular compounds in stomach starch changes to glucose proteins to amino acids and fats to fatty acids and glycerol third absorption the digested food is then absorbed by the small intestine absorption of food occurs through small finger like projections called villi villi increase the surface area of absorption of liquid food as each villus is made up of blood vessels the liquid food enters through the surface of villi and passes into the blood capillaries fourth assimilation through the blood this liquid food reaches to various parts of the body it is used to provide energy to do work to grow and repair cells glucose the final product of carbohydrate reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide water and energy amino acid from protein is used for growth and repair of damaged cells fatty acids and glycerol are stored under the skin as reservoir for energy fifth ejection now the undigested food enters another tube like structure called large intestine some amount of water and salt are absorbed by the colon's walls of large intestine the undigested food now also called waste matter moves to another part called rectum rectum stores the waste material till it passes out through the anus